Hey guys, it's just me with a cup of tea with my rude birds cup. It's got all like swear wordy birds. Oh, speaking of swearing, how are you with swear words? I would like to know that because naturally I am very, very sweary and I rein it in for YouTube and Facebook. And it would be better if I could drop the odd F-bomb. If that was okay with you guys, if I'm not going to offend anyone, actually, part of me thinks, okay, this doesn't really matter. Uh, because if you like me, you'll be here. And if you don't, you won't be. And that's okay too. So what have I come to talk about today, apart from F-bombing? And I've come here to talk about the whole 5D thing. The whole, um, yeah, lockdown hair, still don't care. The whole 5D thing, the, the whole consciousness thing, the whole the whole woo thing. I wonder if I'm a little bit wonky there, actually. Am I a wonky donkey or am I okay? Doesn't really matter. So, yeah, what's it all about, the 5D thing? I've just had a discussion with my sister about it. And she is a bit less woo than me. And she was saying to me, well, what's it all about, Kate? I hear people talking about 5D. I hear people talking about this shift in consciousness. What does it mean? And my take on it is as follows. And remember, always only take what you need. If this doesn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. To me, the whole 5D shift in consciousness, I think commonly people refer to 3D as being the physical world that we live in. And when they refer to people being stuck in 3D, it's being stuck in the old paradigm, the old ideas, the old way of it, and being very, very attached to the stuff you can see, feel, hear, um, and not really expanding your consciousness or your mind past that. And 5D consciousness, and it's, it's simply in my opinion, a measure of consciousness is all about living more mindfully and it's about being a good human, but also being more expanded in your consciousness, knowing that you are uh, not just your physical body and that there is loads more. So under that sort of umbrella of 5D consciousness, have a slip of tea, what do we what do we commonly find so when people are living more mindfully when they are more aware it, it's natural isn't it to think that if i if i've got an interest in in expanding my consciousness and my thinking and i'm starting to think well this isn't it and i think that's a really really common searching feeling for humans is this it the life that i'm living on the planet that i'm on it would be quite natural to start looking for references that might give you different ideas wouldn't it and go on that journey of searching and, and joining up the dots and finding out what feels right to you but i think overall 5d if you want to call it that is about living a conscious life so whether underneath that umbrella you get interested in angels in reiki you want to know about ascension you want to know about your merkaba you want to know about your chakras you're interested in star seeds you want to know about uh, the akashic records and reincarnation whatever that is that isn't in my opinion living in 5d consciousness that's you joining the dots up on the aspects of consciousness that appeal to you because suddenly when you do start living consciously and when you are happy to expand your awareness, there's lots of stuff that you didn't really know existed and you might start joining the dots up on that. And that's great, but that doesn't mean that you're suddenly 5D. And I think often as humans, what I observe is that we watch people who appear to be 5D because they can speak the language of woo and because they can talk about all of this stuff whereas that's not it to me being in a fifth dimensional consciousness is all about being a good human it's about living mindfully it's about living consciously it's about doing your own work but also existing in the world as part of the human collective and being mindful about other people and the planet that we live on and it's stuff like 
living in gratitude, stuff like being kind, and it's doing your own work in terms of forgiveness and moving forwards and rising up. It's all of the human stuff that we have to do, in my opinion, because I feel like living in 5D consciousness, it's about raising your vibration, and that is about raising your awareness, and also about raising your standards as a person and doing the work. It's about doing the work because when you do do the work, when you can forgive someone, when you can let go of the past, when you can heal a wound, when you can live more mindfully, when you can have compassion and integrity, when and even practical stuff, do you recycle? Do you look after the earth that way? You know, or do you... Um, spend a moment being kind and saying hello to someone who walks past you on the street who might not have spoken to someone for a few days are you a generous person are you generous of spirit or are you mean-spirited do you share what you have do you believe in fair exchange do you strive to stay in fair exchange do you pay it forward do you walk your talk all of that stuff is about being conscious and yeah, meditating is about being conscious. Crystals are as well. But actually, the, you know, you're reading a daily card for yourself, they are just all tools that can assist you on your journey to living a more conscious life. I believe 5D is existing in a different state of consciousness because of the work you've done on yourself. And if you don't do the work on yourself, then how can you ever move into that consciousness? So that's my opinion. And I think sometimes it gets so wooed up that people feel quite alienated and they think that they've got a, I'm not as spiritual as I could be because I, I don't know what a Merkabar is. I've never heard of the Palladians. Um, I don't know about, you know, um, ascension techniques. The, the ascension process happens because you do the work, because you actually do the work and you live more mindfully and you become more aware of different states of consciousness, of the fact that this is not it, this current reality. And that's when, you know, spiritual gifts might open up and you might be able to receive more messages, your intuition might be more honed, you might feel more connected to everything and all that is. And all of that's great, but it, it also, I want to say, doesn't make anyone any better than anyone else if they are spiritually awakened and able to speak the language of woo because I just think sometimes it bamboozles people. And if you're being a good human, if you're living your life in a way that is mindful and conscious and you're doing all you can to be um, the best that you can be and also the most productive person in your household, um, in your in your neighbourhood, if you show up in service like I do, what can you give to other people? That's all living a really, really conscious life. Looking after your physical body is very conscious. Are you drinking enough water? Do you eat mindfully? Keeping away from drama is very conscious. Yeah, you can add in good energy hygiene like cord cutting and you know taking a salt bath and doing a morning meditation and things like that. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you're not a conscious person if you don't do those things. They are things that can assist you. Um, and often we all do them because they do assist us when we've got time to do it. But, you know, life happens. So say, for example, I get up and meditate every day. I choose my crystals. I go out and get grounded. I do my thing. Do some yoga stretches. Write some gratitude stuff. And then for about three or four weeks of my life, something happens and I don't do it. Am I less spiritual? Am I less conscious? No, definitely not. I'm still the same person. I'm still of the same consciousness because they are just tools that I was using to assist me anyway. So, yeah, I wanted to mention that and about being 5D because I think by labelling it as well, people can get a bit spooked and think, oh, I'll never get there and they're so amazing, they're so spiritual, they're spiritual AF when actually we're just all humans having a spiritual experience, in my opinion, again. So, yeah, how does that resonate with you? What is your perception of 5D and consciousness and expansion? 
and ascension. What is your your understanding of that? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Whichever doesn't really matter because you've got to take what you need and stay in your own lane and be all right with you. And that in itself is a big part of being conscious and doing your own work too. So uh, that said, here it comes a shameless plug now. That is all of the stuff that we teach in My Life and Soul Academy. So all of the stuff like forgiveness, uh, how to start over, um, how to turn down your critical self-talk, how to move forwards. Uh, there's all that kind of life stuff and also the woo stuff in there as well. So cord cutting, law of attraction, making sure that you give out what it is that you want to get back, clearing your energy as well and your space. That's all of the stuff that's in there. And I was reflecting on that today after talking to my sister about 5D and thinking, well, actually, we help people to do the work. We help people to do the work that they need to do. It's life and soul because there's life stuff in there and there's woo stuff in there as well. So is that not helping people to ascend into a different consciousness? Helping them to awaken to the fact that there's other stuff out there and that they can be the best that they can be. Heal their wounds, line up with the life that they want to create. All of the tools and the meditations and the classes that are in there are exactly that in order to help people do the work and to ascend or to get on the journey of 5D. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put the links down there and there's also gonna be some links for some free stuff as well and the links to um, to my website and whatnot too. So I'll put those down there. Have a good day and let me know what you think of 5D and you think of the whole ascension and woo thing. Maybe you think I've got it wrong and that's okay too. Or maybe there's some of this that resonates with you. And please subscribe and hit the bell so that when I do post new videos, you get notified. Okay, lots of love from me. I'm going to finish my tea now. Okay, goodbye, goodbye.